thoughts about being able to pull off that win? Uh, it was tough. You know, I, I thought uh, it was a, a gut check for every guy uh, that was out there. I thought every guy took on the uh, challenge of uh, guarding his guy better and trying to make every every look tough. I thought Wes was a uh, big time for us at just making uh, hard and work for his shots. And he's going to make shots, but I thought Wes did a really good job of just, of just making his shots tough. Uh, I thought Rolo battled with uh, Dwight. You know, I just thought that they all just played hard and just, you know, just competed. How hard has it been for you guys to stay at the same level of focus? You guys, your focus as a team hasn't seemed to waver at all through the course of this whole series. It's not hard, you know, because we, we understand uh, what it takes and, you know, what our goals are. And, you know, that's to win the series or, you know, put ourselves in a position to win every game. And, uh, you know, we understand how hard it's going to be and it's not, you know, going to be easy. And I thought every guy came locked in. I thought at the last game, I thought every every person was upset and disappointed. And I thought they came back tonight and uh, wanted to be better. Marcus, how would you describe the scene at, at halftime in your guys' locker room? Um, dramatic, you know. I mean, uh, Mo, Mo's always talking. For one, but uh, he, he never screamed. So, uh, you know, Mo just was trying to uh, light, you know, light a, a fire under everybody. And you know, he just was telling us that you know we wasn't uh, competing at the highest level. You know, he seen every every guy on the team, including himself, uh, compete better than what we did in the first half, and that we all have to try to seize this moment of you know being at home and being up 2-1 and, you know, that we, you know, that we weren't playing our basketball. I thought every guy took on that challenge after that. Well, Marcus, Coach McHale said the uh, playoffs are about being built for the grind. Are y'all built for the grind? Uh, you know, we're growing, you know, and I think with every game we learn more about ourselves and I think we've definitely grinded out the season. You know, I was in and out of the lineup. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, we had tough wins and tough losses. So I think we've definitely grown through the season. So, and, you know, so far we've grinded every game, and uh, you know we've uh, you know put ourselves in a really good position right now. So you know we just gotta just uh, just keep getting better. What are your thoughts on that scramble there? Mo gets the three. Um, yeah, I was I was nervous. Uh, I thought it was gonna end bad for us because we just hadn't taken care of the ball in those type of uh, you know situations before that. So I, I was just nervous and. It ended up working out well for us, but I, I, I definitely, you know, didn't know how that was going to end. Different challenge, like um, taking on Dwight down low, and how do you think you did? Uh, you know, Dwight. You know, he's, you know, he's, he's one of those guys that's, that's going to, you know, um, play at the rim. Uh, you know, he's, he's very physical. At, you know, trying to get there, so uh, it takes, uh, you know, a lot of effort and uh, focus to try to keep him. Uh, from getting uh, easy dunks or easy shots, you know, it's a challenge, and I've accepted it. Uh, Rolo, uh, Joe Freeland, and, and uh, whatever four guys out there with us are are all uh, are all tied in with us. So you know, I think you know we've we've all uh, you know tried to just make his looks tough. Marcus, how do you feed off the crowd, especially when you guys are trailing like you were tonight? Uh, it was tough because you know our crowd was definitely waiting to get back into it, but you know we didn't give them too much to uh, to. Uh, a trip for it in the in the in the first half, but I thought the way West came out to uh, start the half with the steal, with the dive on the floor, with the hustle play, I thought the crowd jumped right in and with us, and I thought they gave us energy. That two forty-point games in Houston, you feel pretty good going back there to get another win. Uh, you know, I think we definitely have to be locked in, and it's def, you know, it's 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 possible, you know, to uh, get a win. It's, it's not going to be easy. You know, I don't think I'm gonna have a uh, forty points again. They've definitely keyed in on me, and you know, I haven't had uh, two. Uh, too much easy stuff since then, so I don't see, you know, a 40-point game. But uh, I think guys have been playing great, and I think guys have have always stepped up. I'm bring up the old stuff, with Mark. So I heard you talking in the locker room about the two missed free throws. Uh, just your your thoughts after you hit those. Uh, I could see you were frustrated after that. Uh, you know, I, I have to be better. You know, I was mad at myself because, you know, as the uh, leader of this team, if I'm put in that position, I have to be better. I have to make those shots. So I was just mad at myself that. One, I missed both, and you know, at least didn't make one. But you know, I, you know, I'm better than that, and, and uh, I will be better than that. But I missed the first one, and I shot it normal, and then it, it just messed with my head. And, and my second one, I don't know what I did on my second one. So I'll be better though. 
five late and didn't get it done? Was that a little deflating? And when Parsons fouled you early in overtime, did that give you any extra juice? Uh, being up five and not getting it done definitely was tough, you know, because we, we had fought back and we had played uh, our basketball to to put ourselves in that position, but we just didn't finish it. So that that was definitely tough. And the uh, the foul was good, you know. I mean, I mean, you know, it's not good, but it definitely woke me up a little bit, you know. I thought it got everybody uh, locked in to, you know, try to up finish it out. It was a flagrant foul. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt it was a flagrant foul. I couldn't see it, but I just felt it was a flagrant foul. <laughs> You've been saying all year you don't want to just make the playoffs. You want to advance. I mean, one way away, can you start to taste it a little bit? Nah, you know, you gotta gotta stay in the moment. You know, I have to stay uh, humble and hungry. You know, this this team is uh, you know very good, and we haven't uh, finished it out yet. So we have to stay locked in. You know, just how we went down there and, and won two and came here, and then they won one. So. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody's satisfied, but we're not, you know, um, you know, not not uh, uh, celebrating too early. We still have some more work to do. Last question. Four close games. Um, how much is, is fatigue a factor going emotionally, physically, and going into game five? Um, you know, I think both teams are okay. You know, we both teams are competing, and, and now we have uh, two days of rest before the the uh, next game, but you know, I thought both teams came into the game uh, uh, competing, and you know, I thought guys uh, play hard, and uh, you know, I think both sides are just tired because you know we're just grinding it out. You know, nothing is really easy, and you know, I think guys are just playing hard on both sides.